by checking up on an insanity. Looks like you got brackets going together. Um, getting the so you got the tabs. Ones bust in, tapped off, and I'll uh, make holes and weld so, nuts in and, and build the trough part. All right, so you already rolled the front on that one. Yeah, I already rolled the front. I got the front to okay, on the so side side to do. Pre-rolled, post-rolled. And then you're going to make, we're going to bolt it from this side. Keep the outside clean as possible. So we'll bolt it and you'll put nuts on the inside of the... Well, I'll weld nuts on the inside of the, the, the backing plate. And uh, that way they can bolt in. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be for your tube here? Is that what these are? Excuse me? Are these going to be for your tube? Yeah, this is going to be for tubes. This is going to use well the tube and that's going to go right there. And the tube will just bolt on. on. Yeah, and it'll bolt on to the front of the frame horns. All right. Take two, and I'm going to leave take one in because okay. we talked about that this morning. Right. Where do you want that compressor? Outside. Out of here. So yeah. we're, we may move that when we put the air conditioner in. Outside. Because I got to run around, turn it off, and you got to listen to it all day. All day. So, A team, where were we at? Oh, we need this is the rear crossbar? This is the rear crossbar, yeah, for the back. And then we need it like quick because it's got to go to chrome. Got to be chrome. So, on that, you talked about it yesterday, so. You get here pretty early in the morning, but you got her, got her done. So it's gonna be bolted in. And there we go. You need a poly tank to fit up here. It'll be a poly tank underneath there, and there'll be a cover on that. Okay, so you won't need to fit that first. No, I've, I've got it. You're confident. I've got it figured out. To oh, okay. Where I can build it, and it's ready to go in. All right. So we're gonna build. Uh, you're gonna box the front next. I'm gonna box the front this morning. Build another uh, bar across the front this morning too. So we're going to use this little segment for two pieces, yeah. the Insanity series, and this is DIY day 15 for me, but I like working with the A-Team. Yeah. Not a whole it. lot of DIY involved for me. Yeah, get it sent off, get it chrome. So it Both of them, yep. I got some hinges I got sent off too, so yeah. we'll be on this next. Yeah. We got the rear crossbar bolted in, so make sure it all fits, and then we will unbolt it and send it to chrome. While Daryl's welding in the background, it looks like he's got the front spreader bar mocked up. And again, we decided to go ahead and bolt this from the inside rather than from the outside through. Uh, it'll be a cleaner look on the outside. He's welded a couple nuts into the, into the panels there. You can kind of see the holes. Right in here, so we've got nuts welded up in there. And it's the classic, don't touch it, it's hot. It's very hot. That's welded on the back side. You got the nuts welded on these? Spreader yep. bar is done? Spreader bar is done. Nope. I got to weld it, but it's it's cut and ready to go. Tim's already called me this morning. He likes your idea, so I guess you shared the idea of different ways to do the rear fenders. All the rear fenders? He yep. wants them mounted, not on the differential, but frame mounted or power. Well, it's kind of a, it's still going to be a floating fender, but it's not going to be bolted to the body. Okay. Yeah. And removable. And removable. Okay, so we, we got the action shot going on. Daryl welding away. This is the insanity. We talked about boxing the, uh, the front of the frame rails. That's going to make it look a lot cleaner. Roll it around the front of it. So let's get him finished welding and we'll see what he's up to. It's insanity. Time to relocate the uh, fuel or the uh, oil. So there we go. That'll be uh, Daryl's job tomorrow. Looks like he's got pretty tightened up in the front here. We've got our spreader bar. Everything's welded. Tight. Clean on the outside. Rolled around the front. Super clean. So we're going to pull that off, pull the rear one off, and it goes to the chromer. i got some other chrome parts to go too, but uh, start putting on the motor parts now. And to get the brackets made and get all that done. So that's tomorrow's job for Daryl. It's Tim and Insanity. Well, we can kind of wrap up kind of a Insanity. We finally got some parts, a unisteer. So this is going to go up in here, bolt onto that bracket. They got kind of a unique way. It don't yeah. weld on, but it, it kind of goes on and welds on. That welds on, this bolts on right about right there. So now we're going to get that put on 
and then we can actually start mocking up a whole lot more so that's kind of today's wrap up on this and it's going to let me get some of the video off of my phone that i've been saving and i'll do an insanity part two but let's move on to the baron now